when it is a 440 watt panel, it's up to 22.5% efficiency. And in terms of degradation rate, has there been any change as well from the previous generation Qtron? You'll be able to diagnose if it's a microinverter or the module, saving time uh, from a service and O&M standpoint. Now, what can you tell us about the technology that's in the microinverter? I understand it's Qcells branded or is it a partnership? The smarter way to go solar. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and today we're coming to you from RE Plus, the International Solar Conference here in Anaheim, California. And this afternoon, I'm joined by Harsh Galia, nice Senior you, Product bro. Manager at QCells, and we're looking at the new QCells 440 watt Qtron AC module. So Harsh, uh, it's good to see you again. Same here, Joe. Nice to have you stop by our booth. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, you know, of course, the, one of the reasons we come to the shows here, we want to make sure that our audience stays up to date with the latest solar product and solar technology information. So I'm excited to learn more about the new 440 watt AC uh, module from QSA. So tell us about it, please. Yeah, so this is our Qtron AC module. It can, uh, like we have, we have capabilities of making it up to 440 watt panel. It's basically our latest uh, Qtron technology of module series but with an addition of having an inbuilt microinverter basically coming out of the factory itself. We have it pre-assembled at the factory. So now you don't have to go on the roof and be like, hey, I have two components, just have one component and fix, like you are done with that basically. Makes a lot of sense, makes a lot of sense. Well, let's just run through the basic specs. I'm sure a lot of the viewers out there are gonna to wanna to know. So in terms of power rating up to 440 watts on the DC side, and then what's the, what's the max AC rating? Yeah, so uh, the continuous AC output is 349 watt, okay. uh, while the peak output you can get 366, okay. uh, up to 366 basically. Uh, and uh, as I said, it can be like it can go up to 440 watt, but right now uh, we will start the shipment next month of this product to the distributors, partners of ours, and the shipments will be 430 and 435 watt initially. Got it, got it. Now what can you tell us about the, the module layout? Is this, is this the 108 half cut cell? That is true. It is the 108 half cut cell with the quantum Neo technology cells that we have, our adoption of the Topcon technology. Uh, so the higher efficiency. So this module is like when it is a 440 watt panel, it's up to 22.5% efficiency. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And in terms of degradation rate, has there been any change as well from the previous generation Qtron? So uh, our Qtron line, we are confident that it can be up to uh, performing up to 90.58% in 25 years. So the annual degradation is 0.33%. Uh, and the first year degradation is just around 1% basically. Excellent, excellent. Well, Harsh, I believe Qcells is the number one most popular residential solar module that was installed for the last two years, I believe. Actually, more than that, uh, commercially speaking, we have been uh, the number one in the market share for more than four, four and a half year now, as per Woodmac. Uh, we have almost like, there was a stat which I read where every, every three houses, one of them has a Qcells panels on it. Okay. Yeah, so many of you out there, if you have solar panels on your roof, there's a good chance if you're watching this uh, that you have a Qcells solar module on your roof. But the AC module, having the microinverter factory built into the solar panel is a relatively new thing. And I think that's actually consistent with the theme that I'm noticing here is that this year's generation of products, it's not just about power output, not just about efficiency, but e ease of installation and profitability of installation for the contractor has been a larger consideration this year. And frankly, a lot of solar contractors have taken it on the chin hard this year. There've been a number of business failures. So it's, it's good to see manufacturers giving more uh, specific consideration to you know, help, help the installer do this profitably. And at the end of the day, if the installers are happy, we all are happy, I feel like. So it, our goal is to make the installers work reduced as much as we can. So this is our one of the ways we thought about it along with like the hassle of going through different companies for warranty claims or stuff. We have, since this is our, our own Qtron, like our own microinverter, everything is under one roof for Qcells. So you don't have to go to many different people for troubleshooting or any other issues you would have during the installation. You just have to call Qcells and we are just there to help you out. Excellent, excellent. All right, so I'd like to learn more about the microinverter. Sure, so I'll have my colleague uh, Cam uh, he will speak more on that. Just a quick word from our sponsor, Generac. 
If you're looking for an all-in-one solar and energy management system, then you need to take a look at the new Generac PowerCell 2. PowerCell 2 gives you total control of your home's energy system, incorporating solar power, whole house backup, intelligent load control, and generator support seamlessly integrated on a single platform. PowerCell 2 uses an AC-coupled architecture to facilitate ease of installation for new systems and retrofitting battery storage to existing solar homes. So if you'd like to learn more information, then go to the PowerCell website or click the link in the description below so you can get in touch with an installer right away. All right, so we're back now with Cam Cihoto, who's going to teach us more about the integrated microinverter on the Qtron AC module. So, Cam, thanks for joining us. Great, great. Great to see you again, uh, Joe. Good to see you, too. And uh, so, as Harsh was just explaining, this is our AC module. And if we turn this module around, we'll take a look at the uh, power electronics, the uh, microinverter. And uh, essentially, what you see here is the junction box of the... Uh, you know, the module, and this ties into our microinverter right here. This is a Q-Cells designed, developed, uh, certified, manufactured microinverter, and it's attached onto the PV module to make it the AC module. And this is a, a microinverter that can be disconnected for service uh, if that is required at some point in the future. It uh, attaches very nicely and uh, you can see as Harsh mentioned it is pre-wired uh, for the DC into the micro right so you can see the DC output regular DC output of the solar module connected in here at the MC4 so this is individually serviceable if if a micro inverter fails you don't have to replace the entire the entire module I know it's exactly. a question we get all the time exactly that's a great question and you know you can actually get onto our monitoring portal because the benefit of this now is you know, multifold, right? It's it's now you've got some redundancy built into the solution. You don't have a single point of failure with a string inverter, right? You have also uh, optimization, maximizing energy at the panel level, and then you've got visibility for monitoring. Getting onto the monitoring portal, you'll be able to diagnose if it's a microinverter or the module, saving time uh, from a service and O&M standpoint. Excellent, excellent. Now, what can you tell us about the technology that's in the microinverter? I understand it's Qcells branded, or is it a partnership? It's actually a Qcells uh, developed uh, technology, and uh, it is a you know power electronics uh, uh, inverter, and uh, based on you know MOSFET switching technologies, we've got some proprietary control algorithms in there. So, as you know, we have uh, Joe an R and D center in Korea and here in Santa Clara in the U.S. Uh, a complete team developing power electronics, uh, everything from uh, topologies to firmware to hardware selections, and then a team that also then does value engineering before we go into high volume manufacturing. So this entire package is a Qcells uh, design, developed, and uh, manufactured product. Excellent, excellent. And I, I did have a chance to tour the facility in Santa Clara not too long ago. Yeah. And uh, you know, one of the things again we're seeing here is. Going to a single manufacturer for all the major system components, of course, Qcells, most people know you from the solar modules themselves, market leader in solar modules, but now Qcells has their own, their own microinverter, they have their own battery and energy storage system as well. So there's a number of different offerings that are available on the Qcells lineup this year. Great, great. And just to add another thought is, you know, we're looking at a single module here. Again, you could take up to 44 of these modules to build a, roughly a 15 and a half kilowatt AC system, uh, 18 kilowatts DC. And so the output of this goes into a combiner, which uh, has four circuits of 11 modules. So you have a lot of flexibility in terms of size and uh, features, and you already mentioned batteries and so forth. But in terms of a, a solution for the installer, this is designed to be very flexible, very scalable, as Harsh mentioned, very simple to install. You know, this uh, microinverter also comes with accessories, which are cables that allow you to connect them to the combiner. We have a short cable and a long cable, depending on whether the orientation is portrait or landscape. All of that support, we work with installers to help design and uh, install and commission systems. Great, great. So folks, this has been a look at the new Qcells Qtron AC module, uh, up to 440 watts DC per module, uh, and of course with the factory integrated microinverter. 
Uh, and optionally, QCells has their own battery storage system as well. So if QCells is a company and a brand that you're comfortable working with, you can get a lot of the other system components all under one roof. Hey folks, by the way, if you're getting good value from the videos that you watch on Solar Surge, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Uh, and also make sure you hit that subscribe button as well if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new videos from the show that are coming out, it'll come up on your homepage and on your feed so you can stay up to date with us. Well, that pretty much does it for today's video presentation. I thank you all for spending some more time on the channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.